Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. I hope everybody is doing good. And in this video tutorials, I'm going to learn how to create SQL Azure SQL Server, and then we are going to create a database on that server. And finally, we are going to use SQL query language to create table, insert record, and finally fetch the records. Now, before we proceed with this tutorial please note in my channel there is a playlist that is dedicatedly created for users for beginners who wants to learn about azure cloud computing in this playlist you will find tutorials related to how to use register oneself for a free trial account in azure and understand how azure portal works and then also uh, teaches about creating database and creating vms working with storage account and finally sharing the files with other users using in a secure manner in azure portal now apart from that there are other tutorials i recommend users to go ahead and watch these videos before you dwell more into azure cloud computing now let's go ahead and now create a azure server and the database in uh, using the azure portal so we go to our azure portal now here there's an azure portal over here since i have already logged in i should be you know um, directly uh, redirected to the portal and here you can see the, the portal is already logged in and related to portal how to use the portal what are the resources i already mentioned visit my playlist and you will find the videos related how to use azure portal now here we what we are doing is we are creating an azure database server so first we are going to create azure database so i'm going to select azure database so here you can see there is there is this is azure database for mysql and then there should be an azure so i'm going to select azure database and here you can see sql's database so here the first thing it says that for creating an sql server database we need to first have a server in place so what i'm going to do is that here on this window we are going to say create now here you can see it is prompting to use uh, the serverless service of sql server database now you must be wondering uh, why do uh, why do, why i'm not creating a serverless uh, sql server database instead i'm setting up a server and then i'm creating a database on the server so the serverless as well as in, uh, the dedicated uh, sql server database both have their own uh, pros and cons now let me just highlight you before we proceed what what is the advantage of uh, the method that i am using i am creating a server sql server and then on top of that i'm creating a database now why i'm doing that and why companies do that i know there are a lot of companies who go for with a serverless option because when you opt for serverless database you don't have to worry about the backend infrastructure or the patching and controlling everything is managed by the serverless component but we definitely go with a dedicated sql server and then create a database because of some reasons those are first of all when you are creating a database server and the database you are getting much control on on the configuration the environment and the security settings second customization sometimes what happens is that some companies have a specific requirement or configuration that cannot be accommodated by serverless service so by having a dedicated instance of the server they can do those configuration third is the cost now it it doesn't mean that serverless uh, you know as uh, less capability of the model of pay as you go but there are sometimes uh, there are instances where you when when you book for any sql server and for a long term if you have a long visibility and you have a stable requirement then definitely having a sql server uh, is more cost effective than going for a serverless service third legacy system some companies may already have an existing sql server installation and database that they prefer to continue managing rather than migrating to the serverless service so that is something that you can consider third is finally integration so sometimes what happens companies with existing on-prem infrastructure or specific integration requirement setting up their own sql server allows for easy integration with the existing system and the processes finally obviously if you have your uh, expertise in-house expertise who are very expert in you know managing the administrative tasks of a dedicated sql server then definitely you will try to leverage those skill set and you know uh, set up your own server in azure 
so overall uh, the decision to use serverless service versus managing your own server depends on various factors including control customization performance cost existing infrastructure and compliance requirement and internal expertise so having explained you why people go with a serverless and why uh, uh, sometimes companies go with a dedicated uh, server i i hope that you that clears your understanding now let's go ahead so this is the subscription which is digital tech joint subscription plan in the resource group i'm going to select digital tech tech joint tutorial now here is the database i'm going to say database name is db1 okay so db1 is my database name server now if you can see there is no server defined now here is where we are creating a dedicated server so i'm going to click on create and this will be my server name which will be sql server and this is a digital tech joint this is a unique uh, so this is this is a server sql server digital tech joint and location i'm going to select uh, asia and this will be south so i'm just uh, checking out the okay so this is asia and let me just check Asia. okay south india okay this is the location i have selected here i'm going to so there is an authentication method all these three options are available either you can go with sql and microsoft indra authentication which is an ad based authentication right now i'm going to select sql server and i'm going to define the name so this is my sql user so my this is my sql user admin and password is p capital and then a instead of ss i'm going to say dollar dollar and w zero rd okay 2018 so this is the password i'm going to set same i'm going to do that over here p capital a dollar dollar w zero rt 2018 so this password is i'm just going to record this password so i'm just opening a notepad and here i'm going to set password is dollar dollar w zero rd and 2018 is my password my user sql user is sql user okay so this is my user and this is my server name so i just note this sql server server digital tech joint so this is just for my reference just in case so i've created this and i'm click, clicking on okay so once i click on okay the server is created and you can see that this database over here we can see that the database is created sql server digital tech join okay now we'll proceed further now i want to use sql elastic pool no as of now for the demo and environment will be development okay so this is a summary uh, this is what the one v core and 32 gb space that is by default selected uh, i'm for backup redundancy i'm going to say locally redundant this is for my de uh, demo purpose that is why i don't want to increase my cost then i'll click on networking so you can see connected to the method make sure that it is a public endpoint and these azure services are disabled by default so connection policy is default policy which i'm selecting and minimum tls version is tls 1.2 which is the latest one next on the security uh, so it says whether you want to enable defender i don't want to this is a tutorial on the right hand side you can see a summary which is uh, the summary of the database server and the database that we are going to create okay rest all the features we keep it as it is and then here uh, we are going to say next additional setting so you, you can say use existing data so i say sample so yeah selecting the sample will modify the compute storage to configure again or create a degree so this is something that if you click on yes so there is there is some de by default data that will be posted in our database which is required otherwise we can create our own uh, data, uh, no, tables and insert the record i'll show that as it is so I'm, right now i'm selecting sample which is an adventure work database created which is a sample database but um, if you want here yeah, we can we can uh, enable none and I, I like to show you how to create your table but I'm giving this option over here so you can do that as well so when you select sample it will create a database and then add some record which you can query uh, but I could like to do it from the scratch so I'm selecting none and this is a collation that is by default okay and um, after that this is maintenance period by default 5 pm to 8 am and then we click on uh, the tags you can say a uh, server sql server and you can add the value my first database server okay and then i click on 
uh, create and review and create so it is get creating the database uh, the same can be now click on this is a summary it showed you so now you can see on your notification panel the the services the resources getting deployed it's they're deploying the server and the database that uh, we just created so while it is taking time we'll just wait for a couple of minutes and you should be able to see uh, it is completed over here so once the server and the database is created we will access it uh, using our portal azure portal <laughs> connect to the database create a table insert some record and then fetch the, some details as well we will also go through the properties of the database and the server that will be created once the database is created over here once the server is there and the database is there definitely and then you can definitely you know uh, uh, connect uh, from your uh, local uh, in, uh, setup and also you can use the same connection string in your application that can uh, that could be your .NET or it could be Python in uh, any other uh, you know, front end application system. So it also gives you the connection string for different application type that we will see once the resource is deployed. Yeah, so the the resource is deployed. You can see the screen over here. Your deployment is complete. Let's click on Go to Resource. So once you go to the resource, you can see this is a server, SQL Server Digital Tech Join slash DB1. So this is the database that we had created. Uh, let us do one thing. Let us go to the home page and then select SQL Server Database. So here you can see now we are able to list down our database. This is a DB1 with the server name. Now I'm going to click on the link. And once you click on the link, you can see the database details are here, okay, which includes your activity log, your tag, your compute storage, your connection string. So I'd mentioned about the connection string here. If you click on the connection string, you can see the connection uh, connection string is displayed for ADO.NET here. You can copy and add it in your application. If you're working with a PHP, you can see the connection string over here. Similarly, Go and ODBC and JDBC connection strings are mentioned. So this you can easily copy and you can add it in your application so that you can connect uh, to your uh, database that is hosted in SQL Server. Okay. Now let us go ahead and click on the query editor. And here once you click on the query editor, you, it will prompt you to enter the username. And this is a password that we had uh, saved. So we're going to add this password to connect to our database. So which is P capital A dollar dollar w zero rd and 2018 so, so this is the console okay that we that will help us to connect to a database db1 let us click on connect okay so once you click on connect you get this request okay uh, this error message which says cannot connect to the server because your ip this is your ip okay is not allowing so here we need to do some uh, setting in our firewall so here you can see allow ip on the server so just click on this link and successfully updated your firewall rules so the other way around is you can go to the firewall setting here Yeah, the other way around is if you click on if you click on here, there is so you just click on the server and once you click on the server you can see the details over here and here you can see set firewall set server firewall. Once you click on that, you are able to see so by default when I clicked on that link it added this route so you can also directly come over here and click on this add your client ipv address and then it automatically adds over there so these are two methods where you can allow your client ip now once we allow the client ip let us go back to our database and click on the query editor and enter the password dollar dollar rt 2018 and this time i think so we should be able to connect it Yes, you can see uh, we are able to see our query window. Now, as of now, this database does not have any table. So, let me first create a, a 
table creation script and insert record and then fetch the data so let's create a table create table customers and we'll have okay so this will have a id which will be int and then the name so we will get 100 and then mobile mobile get 10 okay so we'll just click on run and here you can see that it is successfully created now let us query it so select all from customers and you will see there is no record form so let's just zero row so now let's create one insert one record insert into customers and this is id this is name and mobile and values is one and this is um, alex customer name and this is his mobile number okay similarly let's create one more user customer called william with having a different uh, mobile number and obviously the id will be two let's run this both the ways two records inserted and now let's select all from customers and you should be able to see the record over here fine so this is how you have created your uh, server as well as database and also you, uh, you know use the query editor to query some data also mentioned that you can use the same database instance in your application and so that all your data is stored on the azure database server sql database server so guys with this our tutorial is completed and uh, in this, this short video we showed how to create a database server as well as create a database uh, on that server and also use your sql query language to create uh, insert and fetch records i hope you like this video please do subscribe my channel and share my channel link with all your friends family and colleague and help me to grow my uh, digital tech channel okay and so uh, see you soon thank you so much for your time